On the Tyrannus, you can program a switch that does this. When you toggle it, it changes the light pattern. Each time you toggle it, it changes the light pattern. But if you turn it all the way up and just leave it on, it'll automatically walk through the light patterns. This only uses one channel to do this, but this has two functions, and it's done with a timer. So let's look at how to program the Tyrannus to operate the Turnigy receiver control switch. So my Turnigy receiver control switch is going to be on channel 4, in my particular case, but you can put it on any channel you want. So the first thing we need to do is get into the menus. I'm going to click the menu button. Now I'm going to hold the page down, long press, until I get over to logical switches. Now what we need to do is add a timer to pulse that channel. So I'm going to use logical switch 3. You could use any one you want. Just ignore this top line. That is another thing for the throttle timer. But we're going to be doing this one right here, logical switch 3. So I'm going to hit enter. Now underneath the function, you can see up here it says function, I'm going to have the timer. And as far as the on time for the timer, the high state, it's only going to be 0.3 seconds right here 0.3 seconds that's what I like and for the off time it's going to be three seconds and then I'm going to assign a switch you can put any switch you want on your radio a physical switch and I'm just going to use this SF1 and uh, that's over on the left side on the back and it's going to be in the forward position in order to turn the timer on and then it'll be in the default position for it to be off. So just set that. All you have to do is hit enter on any of these and then just go up and down and scroll through. Or on the switch you can actually just flip the switch and get it in the position you want and then hit exit and you're done. Okay so that's for the timer. So next let's go to inputs first. So I already had channel 4 there, uh, but well, let's just go in and I'll enter, hold down the enter key, and then go into edit. Just set the source to max and the weight to positive 100. Okay, now let's go over to the mixer. Oh, I have to exit and then go to the mixer. Now in the mixer, down on channel 4 right here, Let's go in there. The first thing I did was enter the, these values. I just gave it a name of LEDs. And then the source was channel 4, which is pretty normal. Weight is minus 100. All right. Everything else I left at default. Uh, yep, everything else was default on that. So pretty simple. All right, we're going to exit that. And then I went ahead, I actually went in here again, and I said insert after. And when I did that, I added another line right here underneath it. Let's go in and edit that. And I just called it blinker. Source is channel 4. Weight is 100. Okay, going down here. Nothing else. Everything else was default except these two things. I had to put in the logical switch right here. So you can page through that and find out what you want. Logical switch 3 was what I used, so I entered that. And then the other thing I had to do was put the multiplex. It used to be in add, and I put it in replace because we want to replace the value on channel 4 have it go from minus to the value here which is a hundred. See if we go back out here and we look at the original value you'll see it was minus 100 but when we do the replace it puts hundred it puts a hundred in. Okay so that's pretty much it and the logical switch uh, is running right now the timer is running so let's exit out of this and then we'll go 
over here and look at our channel monitor. So if we flip our switch up, you can see that the timer will start running. You can see it right there. So every three seconds it bounces up and comes down and that advances the lights on the night radian. Or it can just blink a light if you want it to blink a light. And then your on duration could be changed to keep the light on longer if you want to in the logical switch. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Now, if at any time I want to stop it from pulsing, I just turn the switch off. And then it'll stay in that state just like that forever until I turn it back on. And then it'll start pulsing again. So that's how we get our lights to automatically walk through the different patterns. And if we see a pattern we like, all we got to do is just turn the switch off and it'll stay right on that pattern. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell.